Car enthusiasts typically like horsepower. More power, faster cars, better zero to 60 time, quarter miles, 60 to 130, faster lap times. And in the scheme of things, the Audi RE-V10 is quite a fast car. 5.2 liter V10, all wheel drive, 600 horsepower. But then there are those car enthusiasts that are a little bit more crazy. <laughs> A good kind of crazy, where an Audi R8 is nowhere near fast enough for them. So you have aftermarket companies that'll put turbos on this. This is a B-Rogue built twin turbo Audi R8 decennium that makes 1300 wheel horsepower on E85. And today we're gonna drive it along with the owner Ryan and talk about what it's like to own a 1300 horsepower twin turbo R8. I'm genuinely a little bit worried about driving the car, not because of the power, not at all, but mainly because it's gonna make my very stock 500 wheel horsepower R8 probably feel broken. With that, let's hop in the car with Ryan. We're gonna to get to see what 1300 horsepower feels like in a twin turbo B-Rogue built Audi R8 Decennium. First, introduce yourself, you're Ryan. Ryan Router, um, owner I am of the this... owner of this 2020 Decennium. Uh, I had a twin turbo before, couldn't get away from it, so I had no. to get back in and had the opportunity through a buddy of mine, James Shelley, that yep. found the car and Brandon at B-Rogue did the build and it's been, uh, it's been an adventure, as they always are. Yes. So the first car was a Aura Blue V10 Plus. Correct. 2017. This yep. one as descending. This is a number you said 212. 212 of 222, and I think it's one of about 50 that came to the U.S. And let's talk about what everything that has obviously is twin turboed, but yes. to what extent? What do we all have on this thing? We did a Datsun 99 transmission. We did an upgraded diff as well. Um, output shafts are the same, but we have boost by gear with the DS1 okay. piggyback. So that allows us to run wastegate about six pounds of boost in first and second, and then ramp up to 12, 14 as you go. So I'm gonna put you in manual, manual. all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so trans is built. Go right, yep. Uh, stock internals? Stock internals, everything else is pretty much stock internal, other than yeah. the fuel system. We've got three yes. fuel pumps that pumps more fuel than a Bugatti Veyron. <laughs> so when uh, you need it. Good old core. Yes. And yes. I'm, I mean, so far there, that was a partial throttle acceleration, that feels OE. Yeah, that felt stock. Very like, much. The way mine drives. What you're going to get is the, the thing is with the DS1, the new system versus going Cybex or Motec, you can keep the stop ECU and TCU mm -hmm. and the car shifting. You don't, you're not screwing around with that. You're just doing tune power all with a turbo system. And the fact that you can run 1300 wheel horsepower, 85 on a factory controller, that's yeah. crazy, right? Yeah. It's Typically, you would have to go full standalone. Man. And we can go between 85 and 93. 93 will be about 1,000. Oh, okay, casually, uh, just 1,000. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does this power ever get normal to you, or is it still exhilarating? No, it still gets you a little scary. And it's yeah. not the third and fourth, it's it's when you actually have enough room to run through fifth, because it oh, just, God. it continues to accelerate. You know, usually at a car, it gets at 130. Yeah. It feels like it's, it's moving forward, but it's, this one is still, pulling like it was pulling at 60. Harder than it Harder was than it going. Was at 60. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just, it's just, I call it the freight train because we're about 900 foot pounds of torque. Oh my gosh. Well, how does that compare to like the 7, because the 720S by all regards is also a very, very fast yeah. car. So grab second, stay in the left lane here, get roll second on, and then just go right into third. Now roll it on hard. Hard, pour it. Holy crap! <laughs> So you gotta, you gotta get it a little boost and then it... What? What? A little different. What? Is that, is that, the feeling over here, I get nervous. I mean, I haven't ridden my car that much. Yeah. I'm speechless. Isn't this is a rare occurrence, Ryan. This is a very rare occurrence. But that feel, you don't, it's like somebody's pushing you in your chest. Yeah. It's like, okay, is it going to stop? And it's, no. I've gotten the, I've been in and driven some pretty fast cars, just like yeah. you, like 1,000 horsepower R8 twin turbo. This is a next level of GTRs. And I mean, 
Mustang 720S, things like that, tuned Pista. What the heck? I call it the civil supercar, right? It's an Audi, it's very sleeper mode, yeah. comfortable, mm -hmm. drive it every day, and then... It's a know. loaded R8 Decennium. We've got yeah. carbon trim, Alcantara everywhere, quilted this, quilted that, full virtual cockpit. Like, right now, sitting here, it's the fancier version of my yeah. R8. Mind-blowing. That's a good word for it. It gets the, it eats the, you kind of get almost like tunnel vision. Yeah. Old, what does this run for 60 to 130? Uh, I've I got mean, right now at 3.5. <laughs> so, and it's just driving away now as long as and it's catted so that's yes. not limited by the cats okay just click it down and go go right now it's going to hit hard <laughs> even i i chuckle every time i get you to have the top. to you can you turn in here if you want yeah i cannot fathom usually i'm talking endlessly like you yeah. haven't been in the car with me when i'm filming one of these usually i'm just a chatterbox talking about specs on this and impressions and reactions my that's my shocked mind blown face and this is just normal again what the? yeah uh, you're good I think keep I going yeah, yep. you're good. and i think it's extra for me because i'm pretty familiar with this platform you, you got, put, yeah. i have one yeah it's rws the base 540 horsepower which is really 532 i think so in first gear, if I were to just roll yeah, on him at it, you gotta be quick though. <laughs> to start, you can feel it crabbing and then it <laughs> held the power because we were spinning. That's not scary though. No, that, I was. That's Brandon's tuner's magic. He gets yeah. it where we limit the wheel spin at about 7%. And then if it, if it starts going past that, it won't chop the power, it just holds it. So it won't give it more boost, it won't go up in the boost, but if yeah. you have, like on a colder day, we'll have even more power when it gets, yeah, now yeah. it's, it is hot outside right now. We're getting now. some intake temperatures that yeah. are going to get warm, but do 50 pulls in this thing and then go right back to normal again. This is utterly ridiculous. This is, I've, I've been in a Bugatti Chiron and that is like an effortless wave of power. Yes. But this thing, you just, you, you know, yes. oh my God. Once you get to about 6,000 RPM, that's yeah. where it goes. Yeah. And again, the drivability aspect of it. Yeah. You could daily drive this. Yeah, you could. So right now we're on 85. Yep. And the, all right, I need a second to compose myself and like <laughs> unscramble my brain. How does this compare to the first R8 you had? That one was at 1200. This I think? was 1200. Okay, but I think we've got all the shift. I mean, with the stock ECU, you get, I think, better shifting. Yes. Better everything around the car, and downshifting's better too. It's, yeah. Because you're on a side mix, you have to dial all that stuff in, and with this. The, the car is already programmed mm -hmm. that way. Factory ECUs are very advanced. They, they yes. self-learn. They do all sorts of things. Exactly. They'll yeah. self-learn too. Yep. Actually, mine, uh, Brandon recently did a trans relearn because it was behaving kind of weird after the exhaust went on. Yep. Now it's fine again. But I mean, if you want, you can go back to, you know, put it in sport. Now it'll drive sport auto. You're yeah. not paddling anymore. It just, it'll find the spot. It, this one will learn as well as how hard yep. you're driving when it's going to shift or not shift. So what else do we have? We've got, it's on lowering springs? Yeah. MCS coilovers. Okay. Um, HRE, HRE, which look gorgeous. We're both part of the gold gold the wheel gold, squad. Gold wheel club, yeah. <laughs> and then full matte, and then DPF. a full matte DPF, yeah. And then just a twin turbo kit that is mind blowing. Yeah, wow. it's, I mean, like I said, I, I like fast. So I have cars that are. I have a McLaren that's the 720s Spider. That's kind of a cruiser, mm -hmm. fast but subtle but cool with the yes. doors. GT3 for the track. Yeah. And then this car is the. I can go out to dinner with my wife, and then if somebody pulls up with their GTR or something else. I asked my wife to hang on and hang on, and, and I'm gonna send them to yeah. Just... The best ones though, Eddie. The best ones are when you come up with leader street bikes and oh. you're on the highway at like 80. Yeah. And you run away from them. And, and they're, they're just, just like, like what, what just happened? The yeah, because yeah. they're used to being everywhere. Yeah, we're gonna turn left at the light up there so you can get out of here if you want. <laughs> Doesn't get boring. No. I hate to tell you this though, your car is going to feel slow after. My car is broken. I, <laughs> I, I might as well walk home. I, I, I just... That's the reaction I get. Yeah. That's, the, that's what you want. And I think that's what Brandon wants. I mean, I never rode in a turbo car and I was like, I don't want to do it. I was oh, shy though. And I got on his Huracan. That yes. he and I'm like, oh my God, this, there's, I've, I've been in fast, to your point, you've been yeah. in fast cars, but you just don't know 
what they'll actually do. No, and I'm spoiled. I've been in anything from, yeah. again, a Chiron, Pagani's, like, and I... Uh, oh, my, I can't, words, like... So for about a hundred grand, you can get something stupid. Do I cancel my Z06 order and just... <laughs> I'll take your Z06 over. Oh, and I'll maybe. give you 10 over for it. How's that? I'm just glad you came out. I mean, I, uh, thank I you, you so much yeah, for letting me just, drive the car. Like, I mean, enthusiasts is it? People like cars. Yeah. Something different. Yep. <laughs> that got me. Yeah, because you're not in control of it. No, right? I'm not. Okay. All right. A lot of cool down. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I. This is a terrible video. My brain is no longer working anymore. <laughs> like it just shocks me that it just still drives like a normal RA V10. Yeah. Yeah. So now we just get it out of paddle mode, and you can just actually you can go to. Can you go like still normal yeah. comfort mode too? Yeah. Go to go to comfort. It'll go right back, like into back comfort. to comfort. Yeah. And now it'll shift That's to quiet. Seventh gear. At there we go. Fifth gear at 22 yeah. miles an hour. Yeah. I understand why you have this car. Why you have a second one. This yeah. is yeah. And the systems, the fuel system's flawless. You can, and it automatically reads that power cord mm -hmm. is your ethanol content. Oh, okay, that's what so it is. So if, right, if I run half, half and half, it'll yeah. tell me. And you'll know it'll vary the power based upon the ethanol content as well. Anything over 60 will get everything. Yeah. Can we run this on? Can you run on a race fuel? Do you have a race fuel like MS109? I could do. I could do that up too. To 110 yeah. or something. Yeah, but Brandon hasn't put that map in. There. Okay. But that's because I got cats. We, uh, we'll, we'll break the threshold of what without shooting the cats oh out the Have you run the this turbo. down the drag strip yet? No, we're, Brandon and I are trying to plan a weekend to do that. Okay. So we, we, we expect to get thrown out because we'll probably exceed 160. Without having before, a, without, a cage and, and a chute. At 160, you're supposed to have a chute. Whoa. Dude, you need to take this one of those like airstrip runs too. Yes. That is where yes. you would see what this would trap. I would be afraid, I mean, of having a street car that has much more than this. Yeah. I just me personally, yeah. I just... You know. But seriously, the boost by gear, the fact that in first yeah. gear it pulls it, like, and it's not scary. Yeah. Some cars at this power level, I mean, it's just squirrely, like, right. you're at risk. But that was composed, calm, obviously exhilarating, but it wasn't terrifying. But in the current form now, as yes. a completed car, completed build, it, I mean, it's addicting. It's addicting. Yes. I, I can't imagine getting to drive this every day. It was just, oh. How do you even bother going back to the 720S? You'd be like, why is this car so slow? Just because the top goes Different. down. The top goes down, the doors that's, go up. That's, 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 <laughs> that's the big difference. Yeah. And even when you have the stock Profavate, that, that... Yeah. Yeah, that would that should have been the car. I think you want to go the ultimate, go to a Performante. But yes. This has better visibility, sight lines, everyday driver, yeah. a little bit more not as ostentatious. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, just, exactly. All these manufacturers are trying better ways to improve on everybody's system. So you're gonna have issues. And if you can deal with minor issues along the way, I've had, to be honest, I've had zero. Nothing. Zero issues. Zero issues. That's phenomenal. On a full fuel system, full build. Full you're build, at yeah. triple the factory horsepower, almost, yes. almost. Yeah. More than two and a half It's probably 1,400 the motor, yeah. 1,500 the motor versus yeah. the wheel, yeah. And it just, and it drives normal too, still. This is utterly ridiculous. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to do this at some point in my life. That makes complete sense. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if in two years' time, you've got like a 2,000 horsepower build. Don't say that. <laughs> you gonna take... My wife can't see that. Don't leave that one off the record. <laughs> She'll be giving me a helmet to go in the car with to go drive around. You know, a lot of these guys do these 2,000 horse, and they can do one or two builds, and then you got to sit there and work on everything yeah. and check everything over. This is pretty much, you hit the start button. You just enjoy it, start, yeah. Start button and go. There's um, usability. It's not a full race yeah, car. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I had a friend at uh, TX2K, he was like, hey, check this out, he had a built GTR. He had a pallet of four spare transmissions, and that was like 115,000 hours in trans transmissions. alone. And I was just right. like, that's my car in transmissions, just yep. to support his other cars. So there's something to be said about this level of usability. Perfect, exactly, Yeah. exactly. Anything else you want to share about the overall ownership of having multiple twin turbo uh, It's just crazy, right? I would say do it. If do you, it. If you, if, you, if you have an inkling and you want to build I would say relatively affordable horsepower, mm -hmm. this is the way to do it, in tunability wise. You get the all wheel drive, you get the livability, yep. and it's just, what is the actual retail cost, do you know? Ignore the fuel system, like just for this pack. What is? I think it's uh, the BR1X, BRX1 package 
plus is right around 75 to 80k. And that includes the built. Uh, You'll get the, the trans dots, and, the dots and tranny. Yeah. Twin turbo system, the DS1, yes. and the tuning behind it. Tap and the E85 conversion. Okay. Yeah. I need to go find more money. I didn't win the lottery. <laughs> None of us won the lottery. Neither did I. But yeah. The I recent wish I did. one. Yeah. Man, everybody's like, did you win? I'm like, no, I didn't. No. You probably uh, wouldn't see me for a few days if I won. No, I'd have four of these. <laughs> have all of my friends. We'd race around together. Oh my god. That's gosh. exactly. Thank right. you so much, Ryan. Thank you, Eddie. Appreciate it. You this bet. is so epic. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Ryan Router on Instagram with Windy City Exotics. Ryder right Six and Router yeah. Three Sixty Five. Router Three Sixty Five. Yeah. B Rogue Build. Obviously, you guys have seen my titanium exhaust on my R8. That's right there, which I don't particularly want to get in now. Uh, you want to trade? <laughs> sure. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah.